Hey guys, Leash here. Uh, it's a little bit windy, so I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, but I'm just sitting down at the beach at the moment. I'll flip it round so you guys can see it if we're lucky. Um, round so you can see how gorgeous it is. So we're down at the Port Lonsdale Beach. i uh, got my kids down there, which is pretty cool. Hey, uh, I just finished up uh, a bit of a long day at the Queenscliff Hot Rod Show. Um, our kids are in Cubs and Scouts down there, which is really cool. And I was just thinking about sometimes, you know, often we talk about business because that's what we're here for, that's what the page is all about. Um, but what's really surprised me is how some of the business skills that I have are actually being able to get utilized in other places. Now, we, uh, you know, a Scouts is a great movement, um, lots of volunteers, and obviously, communication. Uh, between the different people and between the different years is really really important because if uh, for example I took over a guy who'd been doing this for eight years um, absolutely amazing very well connected uh, and just knew exactly what it was that needed to happen knew everyone in the community and all that sort of stuff now to his credit really really great at documentation right so he's really good at and thankfully for me that we have reports and we have contact details and all that kind of stuff um, one of the things that I've been working on uh, in, as we create, uh, as we work together as a team and obviously learn different bits and pieces is learning how, is basically documenting everything else that I think might be needed in order to be able to get passed on to the next year. Um, and it's one of those things that sometimes as a, as a business owner, you know, systemization is something that's kind of, it's a bit boring, right? Like systems are... I know for our clients that we work with, it's like it's the one thing that so many people are going, yeah, uh, yeah, I was meant to work on systems, but they're kind of boring and I just haven't done it yet, right? So what I've been doing or what I've noticed is that it's actually, because I have written heaps of systems for lots of the businesses that I've ran, writing up some systemization of each of the, you know, the barbecue for the hot rods, who to contact and what emails should go out when and how to text people the day before and, and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's pretty much exactly like running a massage clinic or, or even um, doing things that I do in uh, massage champions. And I kind of wonder sometimes what else would be possible if we worked on these skills in our business? What else would be possible outside of it? You know, because if, if like, how we do one thing is how we do everything. You know, like the title of this live. If you're struggling in an area of your business, look for somewhere else that perhaps is more fun or has less pressure. Learn how to do it out there so that it can reflect back in your business or vice versa. You know, I wonder if there are skills that you possess that could be used in your community to help raise funds, to help empower someone. Um, but yeah, what I'd love to know from you guys is what is it that you do in your community um, that your business skills actually relate? Um, and, you know, for me, writing systems, that's easy. Probably connecting and networking in a community that I'm not familiar with, because uh, Queenscliff's a bit different. Ocean Grove's only like, you know, 10, 15 minutes away, but I don't know anyone in Queenscliff. Uh, so this has been a whole new ball game. If it was Ocean Grove, I'd, I'd be fine. I know a lot of people in Ocean Grove. Um, so yeah, it's, it, that's, that's probably my stretch. What, what I'm really great at in some areas, I'm also a very big picture person. This is what I've noticed. Um, so when we go into a meeting and they talk about the four fundraising events we do in the year, I think, yeah, easy, no worries. And it gets to about a month out and I go, right, what were some of those details again? What do we have to do? Uh, and it gets to the day before and, you know, I'm a little bit panicked and a bit nervous and I check my systems five times to make sure I've got it all right. Uh, make sure I know everything, everyone's doing the right thing. Um, and then, yeah, it's been really, it's been really interesting also being able to document it for the next person when they come along so that one day when I step out of this role, I can tag team and know that everything we've done has been documented so that it's easy. Um, it also helps with the communication with uh, the different organisations that we work with, uh, whether it's the Queenscliff Music Festival or uh, whether it's the, um, uh, the Hot Rod Show or, you know, whatever it is, it's been really helpful to be able to pass on a bunch of stuff to them as well. So I'm curious to know if you're watching this, uh, if you can hear me, if it's up too windy, uh, what organizations do you also help out within your community and how do you use your business skills across multiple platforms? All right guys, have an absolutely sensational day and look forward to seeing you in the next video.